hello youtube hello guys welcome to another exciting day welcome to my channel welcome to yj digital world i am your host agu joseph so guys on today's tutorial video i'll be walking you through on how to create a flyer design for a church program precisely using photoshop so if this sounds like what you're actually interested in and you're new to the channel do it to smash the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to get notification whenever i upload new content on my channel and if you are a returning subscriber, thank you guys for always watching. So guys, on today's uh, tutorial video, I will be focusing on three areas which has to do with creating of illustration, okay? The how to create your illustration to actually pass the message to your target audience and how to use color to create contrast likewise and how to create a nice layout that will help uh, pass the right message to the audience, okay? So let's dive into the design phase. So first thing first, we have to create a Canva workspace for this design project. So I'll come over here to create by clicking the new file and the new document comes up. So for this, I'll be setting my units of measurement on pixels 2000 by 2000. That is of height and width. Resolution remains on 300. The color mode is set on RGB to be precise. And we can call the project to give the project a name, which is Encounter with destiny that is the theme of the event okay so after we are done with that we click on the create button so over here we have the canva workspace on which we'll be designing on and so the next thing i would like to do here is to drag in the exercise files i'll be using for this tutorial purpose the link to the exercise files is in the video description do well to check the video description so over here you can see the resources i'll be using for this uh, tutorial purpose and the first thing I would like to do is to create the background on which I'll be placing other design elements on. So over here, I'll drag down this image over here. I'll be using this two set of images for the background purpose, okay? So first thing first, I would like to create a solid fill for this. So I'll select the background layer over here, slide over to the adjustment and all the way to the solid color, okay? And I'll be making use of this hex code here is the hex code to, for the color I'm actually using for the background. So after I'm done with this, I'll enable this, okay? And hit Ctrl T on the keyboard to transform it out. Hold Alt to scale out. And place this around somewhere like this. Okay, hold Alt, scale it out like this. Okay. So you can choose to place the image like this on your Canva workspace. And after you are done, you click on the check button. So the next thing I would like to do is to enable this as well. Hit Ctrl T, hold out, scale it out, and position it over here like this on my Canva. And click on the check button. That is for that. So I'll turn off this uh, image layer and start blending my images together with the background. So I'll come over here on the blending mode and change this blending to this okay that is the overlay that is the blending mode i'm using for this and enable the vector max okay after i'm done with that i'll slide over over here where i have my tools and select the gradient tool to be precise make sure your foreground color your foreground is set on uh black to be precise and make sure the linear gradient is actually selected and make sure that the the thumbnail for the layer max is also selected so all you have to do is to left click hold shift and drag horizontally like this okay to fade out those sharp edges so after you're done with that come over here and enable this as well select the layer and change the blending mode to let me see i think this works perfectly well for this add the vector max as well make sure you're still uh, on the gradient too and make sure the max layer is still selected left click and drag holding shift like this to fade out these dark edges okay that is for the background so the next thing i would like to do is to add a feel of texture to the background so i hit ctrl shift n on the keyboard to create a new layer and call this noise to be precise slide over to modes and change the mode to soft light and enable the 50 percent gray option for this then you click on the ok button for this so you come over to where you have the layer right click and convert it to a smart object so after you're done with this 
I will come over to the filter and enable the noise and add noise to be precise and scale down the noise radius to a good minimum so that it won't be so harsh on on the background okay so i'm just trying to create a feel of texture on the background so I'll select this layer of the noise hold shift select the color fill layer over here hit ctrl g on the keyboard and call this bg which stands for my background bg stands for my background that is for the background so the next thing i would like to do is to place in my text okay so but before doing that i like placing the guide the guide will help me to create a form of a structure so that uh, whatever i'm placing on the canva will be well properly arranged and aligned okay so i'll come over here on the view and enable guides likewise new guides layout and here are the parameters i use in setting up my guides to be precise so i'll click on the ok button for this okay so the next thing i'll have to do is to start placing in the text so i'll start by placing in the theme of the event so I'll pasting the theme of the event over here okay and check okay for this i'll be making use of the Montserrat font for this precisely for this i'll set this on extra bold italics to be precise i also like to change the feel of this to so this here is the hex code for the color i'm using for this i'll click on the check button so over here i have my character panel in case you don't have yours over here and enable it from the window and click on the character you have yours over here as well so after i'm done with that i'll adjust the the leadings like this okay and click on this okay so after i'm done with this i would like to hit ctrl t to transform and left click and drag out like this place this over here on the canva make sure it's overlapping with your guides to be precise okay so after you are done you scale it out properly so you come over here left and check to be precise so you adjust uh the trackings for this by dragging out like this okay i'm trying to adjust the space between text okay that is on the horizontal hit ctrl t and scale out properly like this as well so after i'm done pick my text to as well I'm placing the other set of text which is the width okay so I'll hit ctrl t transform it out scale it down and place it around somewhere like this okay so I would like to change the feel for this to white I'm trying to create contrast between the theme of the event and my background so that it will be highly visible so I can adjust this and I'll change the font uh, style to from Montserrat precisely I'll change it to semi bold to be precise semi bold italics to be precise is okay for this and we are good to go that is for the team so the next thing I'll have to do here is to place in the rider so I'll pick the text tool and paste in the rider over here okay check but before doing that make sure this is set on I think this is good enough like this ctrl a to highlight the whole text and set this on semi bold to be precise that is for the rider text so i'll drag and place it over here like this ctrl t to transform and scale down the size as well okay that's for that guys so you can adjust the position like this on your canva as well so after you're done with this i would like to place in the time and date likewise the venue of the event that is where the service will be holding so i'll come over here paste in the date and time for the event okay so over here i would like to change this to bold to be precise likewise changing the fill to the same shade of yellow as this okay that is the hex code for the yellow for this, I would like to change the fill color to white, trying to create contrast among elements. Likewise, for this, I'll select this service hex here and change this to white. Okay. For this, I'll also change this to regular. Okay. The main focus on this set of text is the date and time of the event. Okay. 
so i'll come over here drag and position this over here like this make sure it's overlapping with your guides to be precise so the next thing i would like to do is to place in the the venue so i'll come over here left click and paste in the venue of the event okay for this i'll be setting i'll be setting this on bold as well okay changing the fill to this as well why for the actual address this is the name of the church okay and for the actual address i would like to change this to white why i would like to also change this to let me say medium is okay for this that's for that then pick your move to and move and place it around somewhere like this on your canva make sure it's overlapping with your guides okay this is one of the ways of creating proximity in your design proximity in the sense that you place L, uh, information or elements that uh, share a uh, close relationship that has relationship with one another side by side each other okay for this team if you notice the team and the rider are placed side by side why the date and time of the event are placed side by side each other because they have what a relationship together likewise the name of the church and its actual address are placed side by side each other thereby creating a uh, proximity okay that is in terms of that so the next thing i like to do is to place the church logo so in order for me to place the church logo i'll come over here and enable the church logo hit ctrl t to transform scale it down like this and place it around somewhere like this and still choose to scale it down pick your text to left click and paste in the text over here check pick your move to and adjust its position pick your text and make sure this is aligned to the center these other sets of text were aligned to the right hand side so I'll change this particular text to semi bold why this other body of text I'll change this to regular to be precise click on the check button so I'll hit ctrl T to transform and scale down the size of this text like this so I'll pick and place it over here like this you can see choose to scale it up holding out okay that is for this so the next thing I would like to do is to make adjustments but before doing that I would like to organize my layers okay so for the theme of the event I would like to select the layers together so I will select the width text with this other text and hit ctrl G to group this I will call this theme So the next thing I would like to do is to adjust the position of the team. Make sure the team and likewise the rider are in the same group. So I'll drag the rider into the same group as this. So if I move this like this, it will move down. Hit Ctrl T. Let me scale this a little bit down like this. Okay. So the next thing I would like to do here is to actually place the social medias. Okay. So the social medias of the church. So I'll hit Ctrl T, scale it down so that they have a similar size. Okay. Select both layers. Hit Ctrl T, scale them down perfectly well like this. Okay. So I'll select uh, one of them and adjust its position side by side as this. Select both layers and hit Ctrl G. Okay and call these socials to be precise okay that is for that okay so for the socials i would like to change its fill color so i'll come to the hues and saturation and enable the hues okay click on the clip marks over here turn down the saturation and boost up the highlight like this and you notice the color fill has actually changed so i'll pick my text to left click and type in this text that is GOF Garden of Faith okay Kaduna is the actual venue so for this I'll set this on semi bold change its fill color to white 
okay that's for that can scale it down by hitting ctrl t and place it side by side with this with these handles like this okay you can still come over here to the group select both layers hit ctrl t and scale down like this okay pick the move to adjust this and place them side by side like this so i'll move this their social media handle into the same group as the socials hit ctrl t and i would like to place it around somewhere like this scale it down okay and place it somewhere like this okay so that is for that guys so you can still choose to uh, adjust the size of these two set of text by selecting them hitting ctrl t scale them down because they are not the sole uh, area of focus so i'll scale them down and make sure that they are well aligned on my canva okay so after we are done with that i'll turn off my guide by hitting ctrl h on the keyboard you can still choose to make little adjustments to this as well adjust the position like this okay so if you look closely you can see we have a nice layout okay over here here is the team the main focus of the event and over here i scale down the size of the venue likewise the date and time of the event thereby creating hierarchy and proximity among elements in design as well i created contrast by using different shade of colors and scaling down the sizes of of text okay to create a room for contrast among elements in my design okay so after we're done with this and still choose to scale this down a little okay so you can choose to take your project a little uh, further by adding some color lookups that might look good okay so come over here on the adjustment enable the color lookups and you just play around and see the one that actually helps the look of your project okay so ladies and gentlemen we have come to the end of today's tutorial video if you find this video helpful do it to smash the like button do it to smash the like button okay and if you're new to the channel and you're yet to subscribe do well to smash the subscribe button smash the subscribe button right now and turn on the post notification bell to get notification whenever I upload new content and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always watching the link to the exercise file is in the video description please and please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section do well to leave a comment in the comment section thank you guys for watching